All right, um, I'm recording this at the end of August, and I'm gonna think hard about permanently relocating away from Seattle, Washington, even if I have to change change uh, my career path. As you guys know, I've been looking at another career path that is in uh, the Rocky Mountains. And um, the inspiration for uh, this time around is that um, I had a little bit of a burnout situation. So I work at a university and a tutoring center at the moment. And um, for the most part, I want to say I love my work, but these last couple of weeks, especially when we were working on SAT prep, now I just have one-on-one -on -one students. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the job. The problem is that a lot of times it felt like one day was over and before I got a chance to digest it, the next day would fall on top of me. And then before I got to digest that, the next day would fall on top of that. And I've been juggling that for a couple weeks. And then two days ago, I got into a car accident. That's just a parking lot, fender bender. But still have to, having to call insurance companies, having to deal with uh, that. And um, on top of that, um, a lot of times my schedule doesn't allow for me to either have a relaxed meal or to schedule my fasting sessions accordingly. Uh, and so, so I kind of lost my bearings for a moment today and um, I decided to call off. And I hope I didn't jinx myself because the last time I did this, it jinxed myself. I told my boss, you know, I'm not feeling too well and I ran out of the COVID-19 test. And I know one of my colleagues had just recovered from COVID-19, so I knew it would be believable. See, I, I, I gotta wonder, what happens when you call out and you make up an excuse like that and, and it ends up happening, right? Say, say you call out and you say your grandmother passed away and then the following day she really does pass away. I wonder how you would feel if you did that. I chose COVID-19 because I know I've recovered from it three times and I, I feel okay with it even if I do jinx myself. I even have a numbering system for getting COVID-19. I, I just keep adding 19 to the number, COVID-38, COVID-57. So I hope I didn't jinx myself and give myself COVID-76 this time. But anyway, um, so I called off today because I was just in a wreck. And I really love my job and I, I, I was undecided if I should do this. But I knew that people are concerned about COVID-57 anyway. For my colleague, it would, it would be COVID-57. For me, it would be 76. And I know we were concerned about that anyway. Um, and um, so it, it made for an easy way out. But now my boss, apparently things really fell apart because I wasn't there today. And he's emailing me, asking me if I got tested and all that. And um, it's the end of the summer semester anyway. So I've kind of been uh, just resisting emailing him back. If I land that job in Wallace, I'm going to just forget that we had this last sorry episode. Um, but anyway, uh, just the mentality of, um, of things here in Seattle. See, if I lived in Wallace, I probably would have talked to my boss. You know, hey, I, I, I really uh, feel things are churning a little bit faster. Um, I don't know um, if we could uh, think about uh, some mental break. Because earlier today, I went to uh, Bellevue Botanical Garden. And it's not Desert Botanical Garden, but it was still a nice um, way to just oil up my machine a little bit. Kind of like my, my Kia Forte that I'm driving. Um, earlier this year, I had a problem with it burning oil. I got the PCV valve changed, and now it's not doing that anymore. I mean, I changed my body's PCV valve today. That's how I like to feel it, feel, feel about it. But unfortunately, good luck getting my boss to understand that. Even a, a good boss like the one I... Uh, don't even think about the, the last boss that I had trying to explain this to him, right? But um, anyway, so, so he kept pestering me. Did I get the test yet? How am I feeling? And... Um, that just reinforced the idea. I gotta get back to Wallace, Idaho. I gotta get back to Wallace, Idaho. And I talked to a friend of mine. One of the, the bit catch 22s that I have with going back to Wallace is that when I interview for a job in Wallace and people see that I'm still living in Seattle, they're worried that I might not make the leap. But if I go there and I'm unemployed, that, that's its own problem as well. My, my uh, friend actually suggested the latter, go there and be unemployed because 
uh, you could always explain that I had family matters in Wallace. And that kind of makes sense, right? If you have a death in the family, you don't wait until one job, especially if it's a contract job, closes out. But, um, you know, one of the problems is that I, I really, I really hate lying. I mean, it's, it, I know it sounds hypocritical, but today I didn't feel I was lying because I really didn't feel too well. I mean, it might not have been COVID, but, um, so I, 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 my friend told me to just think about taking care of yourself as an extension of taking care of family, which is kind of true too. So I'll have to view it that way. Anyway, I, I, had a, I had a minor burnout today. And it's not because I hate my job. It's just that things, the wheels were churning a little bit faster and I, I needed to, to, to put some oil in my engine.